Okay, hello. So I wanted to make this video to talk about just a bunch of ish that I think is important. I'm gonna talk about it now. Um, okay, so the first thing I just want us to just hold in our mind, right? I'm not gonna go deeply into it, I just want us to hold it. Just hold it in the mind. Porn is free. Just worldwide. It's free. It's so free. It's like freer than free. And like, it's free in, in America, right? Where in a country where you might get taxed for breathing wrong, right? This is free, worldwide free. Kids have access to it. Everyone has access, it's just there. Super duper free all the time. So let's, let's put that over here in a little box. The second thing I want to talk about is that oftentimes you'll see on like Reddit threads about abstaining from sexual things and pornography, a lot of the guys will say, and I've heard this like from like people that I know, but also like have seen so many anecdotal, anecdotal reports online where when they abstain, their natural inclination to protect women and children increases. Like they almost receive an activation to become like protector warriors, right? So let's, let's hold that. Just, just two things, let's hold that. Now the third thing I wanna talk about is Balenciaga. So let's just hold that, that whole controversy with like people in power, seemingly bold enough to to idealize abusing children now i'm not saying nothing i just want you to think about those three concepts just think about it let it swirl around in your brain a little bit i think it's important right like it just seems a little important to me <laughs> that you would have this sort of over-sexualization and then have the, just this boldness with the way right now that children are being treated. I titled this the war on men because I feel like their biology is more prone to being completely overtaken by visuals now women have this too so we're dialectical i'm not saying that like because men may be suffering women aren't suffering right it's not it's an and and situation this video happens to be about men so their hormonal systems work in a totally different way because men and women are different I just think it's interesting that men who used to be able to like, like hunt down a woolly mammoth, right? Like just like our warriors and protectors, they've been sort of deeply indoctrinated with consistent sexual imagery. Like, like I was watching Game of Thrones, right? The, like. And I was like, does this scene need to have a nipple in it? Like, does it need to? Like, sometimes it just makes no sense. Like, it'll just be like, here, here's, here's a gratuitous sexual scene, which makes no sense and doesn't add to the story. But now you have it in your brain. When a, when a, ch when a kid younger than 15 sees those images, they register in the brain as trauma because the brain doesn't know what to do with them, right? So so I kind of study this, right? I'm, I'm a therapist, so I feel like all of the, the cognitive distortions that a lot of people kind of embody and ruin their relationships, these don't just happen, right? We all don't just have anxiety. Our hormonal systems are deeply being messed with. I feel like, though I'm not saying nothing, I just think it's interesting, right? It's interesting to me that we're constantly bombarded with these messages 
and our warriors and protectors may be getting their like their like juice siphoned out of them literally and figuratively that's all that's all i just wanted to like just put that out there i'm not saying nothing it's just how i feel thanks for listening